Morning. Oh, David, it's the police. This was the moment the police finally caught up with one of Britain's most prolific and debauched sexual offenders. We're from Kent Police. And David Fuller was arrested after advances in DNA evidence tied him conclusively to the murders of two women 34 years ago. You're under arrest on suspicion of the murders of Wendy Nell and Caroline Pierce in 1987. Wendy Nell and Caroline Pierce were both abducted and murdered by Fuller, their deaths dubbed at the time the Bedsit Murders. Tonight, Wendy's family finally know the man who killed their daughter has been brought to justice. It hasn't sunk in yet. It's going to take a long while. Although the guilty plea won't change anything deep down, as the pain and loss will always be there, it's good knowing he will not be in a position to hurt or cause any more pain. On the back of his oh. chest of drawers, it looks like he's got some hard drives in there, I would say. Police also discovered a hidden cache of hard drives at Fuller's house. On it were videos of him abusing bodies in the now-closed Kent and Sussex Hospital mortuary where he worked as an electrician. Little did we know what we were going to find when we went to arrest David Fuller at his home address. You know, a treasure trove from his perspective of just the most abhorrent and horrendous um, uh, offending uh, against um, uh, deceased bodies. When challenged, he admitted the heinous crimes. I am admitting the offences, but I don't really want to go into detail. Yeah. It's not known precisely how many bodies Fuller abused, but police believe it may be in excess of 100, ranging in age from 9 to 100 years old. Tonight, the full details of Fuller's horrendous crimes spanning at least three decades are finally coming to light. His guilty plea means he faces a whole life term and will probably never leave prison. Dan Rivers, ITV News.